Do you know where we are heading to? Can you take a guess? India's first domestic cruise, Angria, has finally started. The services of this cruise were started today after an inauguration event that was conducted at the Mumbai port. Alright, I'm excited and let's have a tour of Angria. This cruise is actually named after this man. His name is Kanoji Angre. He is called the Shivaji of Indian Ocean. He entered the battlefield at the age of 13 and never lost a battle. And this cruise is actually a tribute to this particular brave legend. And that's exactly why it is called Angreya. Can you believe it? The team behind Angreya has actually got a sword on the cruise. This is the D deck of Angria and this deck has ports. And do you know why this cruise has ports? Because this is a Japanese vessel. And ports are popular in Japan. And now these ports are gaining popularity around the world. Now this is the underwater deck, the bottom most deck in Angria. And this, my friends, is only for the elite. Isn't this fancy? and not allowed to see the rooms. Sorry. What if you fall seasick or you get drunk? Or you just practically fall sick? Don't worry, there is a hospital right here. And there are doctors who can actually treat you while you're sailing. Isn't that bad? served already on the cruise in two restaurants. One is for a week and another is here. Let's go check out what's on the menu for tonight's food. Honestly, this is the first time I'm on a cruise and this is the first time actually I'm having a meal on a cruise and I really don't know how it's gonna be. This is what my dinner plate looks like. That's minestrone soup. That is noodles. That's veg manchurian. That, my friends, is the fried rice. It's simple, but it's really, really, really good. It smells at least good. So I'll try this, and I will tell you how it is. All right, now on my plate is Indian, right? I've, I've just finished Chinese. 
um, which I enjoyed. Now, just to give you guys tasters of what I'm actually having, what is being actually served, uh, I've got some Indian food on my plate as well. Uh, so now there's veg jalfuzi, there's dal makhani, there's masala bath. People who don't like masala bath have also a variation of plain rice, uh, and there's paratha. And for the ones who want to have non-vegetarian food or non-vegetarian sabzis, that is also being served. And trust me, this is all perfect to the temperature, absolutely hot. Let me dig into this and get back to you on how this is. I'm full with the food that I've actually had, but it's now time for desserts. There's no dinner that's complete without desserts. So here's the dinner. What I'm doing here, well, I'm here only to wash my hands. There's nothing else. This is the wash area on the B deck. Let's go to the room now. Well, this deck is special for me. Wonder why? Because my room is right here. Well, this is my room, right? I'm sharing it with Kushan. It's called Brindleton. Let me take you in. Come on. Alright, it's now a tiring day and we had an exciting one. We had a lot of food, we had a lot of activities, we had a party to attend and who would have guessed we even attended a marriage on Angria. It was tiring but it was a lot and lot a lot of fun. Right? Now it's time to hit the bed. All I have to do is change and I have to do this and go to bed. See you tomorrow morning at Angria. Goodbye. You gotta wake up at 6.45 Wake up mm. You gotta shoot, wake up Wake up What the f*** are you doing? Get up Why do we have to do this at 6.45? Say good morning. Good morning. I really can't open my eyes. It feels like oh, the, the beds are really comfortable to sleep. Looks like a cozy bed, and it's actually it, it is really co a cozy one. Blankets are good. It's very hygienic, it's very clean. Like you're sleeping as if you're sleeping in a train or sleeping at home, right? But again, let me not compare it to a home because you're on a holiday. Uh, but it's, it, it's really nice. You will get a good night's sleep. It's around 7.15, 7.18 now. And I've just come out to check the temperature, the weather, and this view. And I can't tell you how beautiful it is. Just have a look at that sunrise.
place must be looking very familiar to you. Just have a look. You must have had a look at this place somewhere. And if you're wondering what, let me make it very easy. If you're wondering which film we are talking about, you guessed it right. Titanic. This part of the cruise is actually called the Titanic Point. Alright, it's time for Goa. Yes, we are reaching the party capital of the country. We left yesterday uh, at around, let's say, around 7 in the evening. And we are reaching now at 2. Um, in between, we had a break because of the inauguration ceremony. And so it took roughly about, say, 15 to 18 hours for us to reach. But the journey was fantastic. In me, you can see the Bamagao port. And this is almost the end of our wonderful cruise. And we are here, finally, finally, finally we reach Goa. I'm not tired of sailing, but I'm tired of shooting, right? Not only I'm tired, this fellow, this fellow, this fellow, he's our creative director, Kushan. Oh yeah, let me correct. He's the creative director at Mumbai Life, but he is the director of this film. Whatever ideas, whatever shots you've taken, that they are his brainchild. Alright, just to give you a brief, Angria has 5 decks and a total of around 104 rooms but it has everything that you need for a perfect holiday. It has bar and restaurant, it has an infinity pool, library, a disc, a coffee shop and there's nothing more you need for 18 hours of travel, smooth, on the sea from Mumbai to Goa.